Right now, I am preparing for a talk that I'm giving in Nebraska next month. And as I'm putting everything together and practicing, it suddenly occurred to me that there are so many of us that are walking around with shame. Now, my particular source of shame happened to be because I didn't have a lot of connections in my life and I constantly felt lonely. But shame can take lots of different formats. It, it can be financial shame. It could be um, shame about your weight. It could be um, sexual shame. It could be sh shame because you can't have a family. There are all kinds of things that we have inside of us that are those embarrassing little pieces that we don't like to show people, that we don't like to talk about. And I'm here to tell you that whatever it is that you feel ashamed about, it's okay. Because look, <laughs> most of the time people are not paying attention to you as closely as they are paying attention to themselves. And so they're probably not noticing that thing that is bothering you so much. But I want you to know, you don't have to fit a specific mold. The most wonderful people never do. Um, the, I think there's a quote that says, you know, the if you wanna go down in history as a woman, don't do what you're told. You have to understand that sometimes you have to break out of your shell and really accept that shame about yourself in order to be the person you're really meant to be. So embrace it a little bit and nurture yourself and be kind to yourself because wherever you are, if you have air coming in and out of your lungs, you're great just as you are. And if you like what I have to say, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.